Tonight, only on 10 Tampa Bay, a $4 million judgment against a Sarasota creamery at the heart of a listeria outbreak that killed a woman and sickened dozens of others. That woman's family sued, and tonight a federal judge has determined Big Olaf ice cream showed conscious disregard for her safety. But for the family of Mary Billman, millions won't bring back the woman they loved. Good morning from Siesta Key. It is the last video of Mary Billman's life. A beautiful day on Siesta Key Beach with her family. Over and out, channel three. Within days, Mary would suffer a painful and preventable death after eating a cup of big Olaf ice cream contaminated with listeria. I can't, e I can't even believe it happened. But it was, it was a fast. It was a sudden, going from completely normal and being my mom to nothing to comprehend what Rochelle Brown and her family lost. The loss is, is too much to bear. Is to understand what Mary Billman brought to this world. She was like the most bubbly person. She was just really, she'd light up a room. She never met a stranger. At 79 years old, Mary was full of life, full of fun. It's just, it's very, very difficult to wrap your mind around the fact that something that you gave her is, is what ended up killing her. She was just getting ready to celebrate her 59th wedding anniversary. My dad's completely lost. Big Olaf ice cream sickened more than two dozen people. For at least eight days after the CDC issued a warning that people should not eat it, 10 investigates discovered that some retailers continued to serve Big Olaf ice cream. To, you know, to find out that you still chose to sell it, after July 1st, it's heartbreaking. I mean, my mom mattered. My, mom, my mom's life mattered. Our lives will never be the same. And so that, that makes me angry and it makes me very sad. 16 of 17 samples tested at the Big Olaf manufacturing plant contained listeria. The company never showed up in court to defend itself. Today, in this default judgment from U.S. District Judge William Jung, Big Olaf is ordered to pay the Billman family $4 million. What it just shows is the court was convinced that Big Olaf was acting with conscious disregard. That's the same standard, frankly, that um, the Department of Justice would look at in deciding whether or not to levy criminal sanctions against them as well. So um, I don't think Big Olaf's and the owners of Big Olaf's are... You know, certainly not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Over and out, channel three. I should mention here that Mary was also the primary caretaker of her husband, who has dementia. The family of Mary Billman already settled a claim against the restaurant that sold the contaminated Big Olaf ice cream. I did reach out to Big Olaf Creamery for comment about the $4 million judgment, as has been the case every time I've called the company voicemail was full.